Hello, I'm Nick Erko. I'm a level designer from the Guild Halls class of T15. And today I'm going to demo how to get a custom particle from Photoshop into UDK. So, here we have the particle I made. It's a grayscale image. We'll be coloring it later in UDK, so uh, leave it grayscale for now. And the file size is 256 by 256 pixels. It is important that your file size is in a power of 2. So 128, 256, uh, 512, or 1024. I went with 256 for this one. If you do not make it a power of 2, it won't import into Unreal. So it's very important. In addition to the particle itself, I also made an alpha channel here to handle the transparencies later on. If you don't know how to do that, it's not a big deal because there's a very easy workaround to fake it and get pretty much the same effect. So here it is, and we're going to save it in a format that Unreal can recognize. So we're going to save it as a targa with .tga. Yes. For our saving options, I am going to save it as a 32 bits per pixel image because I have an alpha channel associated with it. If you do not have an alpha channel, then you want to save it as a normal 24 bits per pixel image. Okay, so it's all saved, so let's bring up the UDK. We need to first import the particle into UDK. So to do that, we open the content browser, and then we click this import button down here. You need to navigate to the directory where you have your particle saved. So here, myparticle.tga. Open. And for the package, I am just going to import it into the levels package in particle sample. The group is going to be text for texture, and I will leave it named my particle. You can leave all these other options as default for now. We will change them later. Click. Okay, so we have our texture imported, but it's unreal, so it's not terribly useful until we make it into a material. Right click in this gray area and go to new material. We are going to leave it in the same package. The group will be mat for material and the name will be particle material. Make sure that you have material selected next to your factory so it knows that we are in fact creating a material. And now it opens the material editor window. So, for a particle, you need something plugged into the emissive channel and the opacity channel. And I am going to show you what we need. We're going to bring in four nodes. Start with this vertex color under constant. texture sample under texture and uh, we're going to be multiplying them together so under mass grab two multiplies okay start off we need to load our texture into this texture sample so if we find it in our content browser right here Click it to make it active, and then click this green arrow in the texture row. And then instead of none assigned, we now have our texture assigned. We are going to multiply, let's start with the emissive channel. We are going to multiply the black overall channel with the black channel of the vertex color node. And then we are going to output the result into the emissive channel. And something shows up over here. If it is not a flat plane, uh, if you get this, 
yours looks like this, make sure you click this plane button at the top so you can see it properly represented as a plane. However, you may notice that it is not opaque yet, and we need to add some transparencies to it. So we take the this white node represents the alpha channel I made earlier. I'm going to take this and plug it into this multiply over here. If you did not make an alpha channel, that's fine. You can just take this red channel because uh, it's a grayscale image and the RGB channels are very similar to what my alpha channel actually looks like. So that will work for you. And then you multiply it with the white node from the vertex color node. And that gets plugged into opacity like that. It's still not showing up over here. And that is because our blend mode is not set up right. So under material, change your blend mode to additive. And now it is showing up properly. You can see through it as intended. So, a uh, quick note about this stuff over here. You do need these nodes in order to, for it to work. This vertex color node it doesn't seem to be doing anything. It's very important later on when you want to change the color and opacity of the particle system. If you do not have it, you will not be able to change the color, and even worse, you will not be able to make your particles fade in or out which, uh, although we won't be doing for this tutorial, is very important, generally. So, you do want them set up like this. You can add things uh, to, to these. Basically, as long as you have these two multiplies multiplying the, the black and the white channels together, and plugging them into the respective nodes, uh, it will work properly. So this is all set up, so I'm going to click the green check button here, and it will compile.